Kaya Leslie. And I'm Doreen. And today we're going into, it's the Single Life Reunion, reunion Part 2, right? See where these little romances are at and relationships are at. But we're just going to jump right in with Debbie and Colt. And it just, it's another bonfire of a relationship due to reality TV here. I mean, they were happily mother and son and seemed, I guess there were ongoing issues, but this is just like kind of blown up. Anyway, um, Colt was on with, with, uh, with Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa, who actually had a miscarriage, so sad. And there, the issues are with Debbie living with them. They need their space. I get it, you know. I think it's time. I'm very happy that Colt said I've supported her for 36 years. And I did get a little pissed off at Ed being like, you know, I take care of my mother. Like everybody, and, and I am a big fan of like men who help to move back in with their mother or father when they're old to take care of them. Debbie, Cole has been Debbie's support from the minute she got divorced when he was a little boy or a baby. I don't even know how old it was. But so she's been there and she has made him into her cane, I'll say, her support, period. Yes. I think it's good for both of them, for her to move out, for her to, to get over and learn to be on her own and for Colt and Vanessa to be able to live their life. I think healthy. that's very healthy. It's healthy for them, yeah. It's so funny because Debbie and, Van and Van Vanessa, they were like so chummy and everything, but I guess now that has like... I don't know that they're not as chummy, but I think Debbie is just hurt, and I think they'll get over it once they, you know, yeah. realize what's going on. Yeah. I'm just surprised Colt and Vanessa are still together, per se. Yeah, honestly, me too. <laughs> me too. You but know, they're that's... trying to have a baby, I guess, if that yeah. was trying. So who knows? Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe they'll work out. But speaking about Ed, my Ed, I mean, <clears throat> he had the same dynamic with his mother, but she has now since moved out. So he can't speak to that, that it's just not healthy. But I felt like her, have... his mother was not like Debbie. Debbie was needy. Even with the I'm just saying they were there helping out in whatever they capacity they need. They were there helping out. And, it's, and it works when it works, but when it doesn't work, you need to, you know, adjust. And when you have a relationship, that's when it doesn't work. I have to agree with both of them. But Ed and, Ed and uh, Liz, Liz, I guess... She is not the they're fan forever favorite. forever person. I, they're forever. You know what? Again, I don't know that I believe it. It's yeah. a lot of back and forth. I don't know eight that times, I believe it. Eight times. I don't know how the ninth time is magic. If you broke up with someone eight times. <laughs> nine just times saying, a charm. I mean, once or twice maybe, but I don't know. So I think it's just a matter of time before number nine comes. I agree. But um, there's obviously more there because people do not like this girl, it seems like. So I don't know. I don't know. You know I'm what? pulling for Ed, and I don't know if this is the right, you know. I just think the whole relationship, I think, you know, the age gap is going to be detrimental. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so on to Jesse and Jennifer. I think they're adorable. I'm sorry. I just think they're a great, adorable couple. No, I was like, you who protest too much. Every time they pan to them, it was like lovey-dovey kissing. It's like, yeah, it was too much. who are you trying to convince here that you're a happy, loving couple? That like, was, it was too just, much. To me, it was just, it was just, you're trying way too hard and I am not buying it. So there's some other, I think they're both using each other um, for whatever they can get out of this. That's how I see that. I don't see a romance. I think you think they're adorable. I do not. I, I, I think what we're going to see, I mean, I think they're both good looking and they match up really well. Um, but yeah, and it, but but it was on Jennifer. I mean, Jennifer was the one leaning over to him and jumping in his throat. It's not like, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know why, who she was trying to prove. Yeah, it was just, yeah. And it was, yeah. Maybe it, it was for Tim to show Tim, look, you know, I'm sexually attracted to him. And why can he get under her skin so much anymore? To me, it's like when you're moved on and you're happy. They didn't even think, kiss. Forget no, but about it, sex. <laughs> well, Tim just disputes that. But um, what I don't understand, if, you, if you've moved on and now you're happy with this new person. Why do you care? They can't affect you. Like, yeah. that is just like, you're like such in a good place. No one can get to you. Like, and so I was kind of baffled with that, with how he's still able to get under her skin so easily. So easily. So that was very bizarre, which makes me think she's not as happy as she appears. Could be. Stay I just, tuned. I just thought the whole thing was smoke and mirrors. But anyway, on to another crying fool. We got I can't, Natalie. I can't. I can't. Natalie, th with this, um, she looks great, actually. For what it's worth, she she's looks pretty. like she lost a little weight, and she looks she looks beautiful. I don't understand why the um I don't uh, that the thought of divorcing Mike. Michael was was a uh, was so detrimental. I think it has to sobbing. do with her getting thrown back to the Ukraine and not being able to stay in America. Yeah, it seemed like there had to be more to. Is that her key to being here? Is that you, you know? I heard here something, once? or they said something. Now I thought once you get married, it is the responsibility they of the all, person who marries you. They all stay here. They do. I mean, if she has her green card, maybe she doesn't have her green card yet, and so if they get divorced, I don't know. 
but I, I there was a clip or something of her being like then I can't stay and I don't know I mean what was she doing just living her life thinking and that and he was still supporting her so was she just like this I is the best life ever I think he, he gave her the insurance but yeah I didn't understand that but it seems like all the other ones they you know they get divorced like what's his name that was married to yeah. you know he just went off on his way you know I don't know whatever hopefully we'll see why all the, what all that crying was about um and then we have Sinjin. Sinjin you know, and Tanya. Tanya. The new yeah. blonde chick. I mean, he's living his life. He obviously cares. I was actually touched by the fact that he, he seems like he truly cares about her and just realizes they it's love just not each a match. other. They just don't just want the same thing. Although yeah. what's weird is that he said, you know, with the blonde about kids, you know, not now, but maybe in the future. And I, I get it. Tanya's 37, right? She can't stay with him that for time. five years to find out I don't want them. So I, yeah. I think it's better for her you know, to move on. Um, yeah. But just because you break up doesn't mean you don't love somebody. Sometimes you just really love them, but, but everything I thought you that want was, is not the I same. I thought that um, that was really nice. It so gave sweet. a good validation to their relationship that it really wasn't just, it was real. So I thought that was really nice. But Very, uh, very sweet. Wait and see what happens with these lovely couples. Hopefully we will uh, get filled in on their yeah, lives. Yeah, get all the tea on this one. Inquiring minds want to know. That's us. Anyway, if you liked our recap, please subscribe and Leave check us the notification, comments. and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.